system and I'm like what the heck is going on and it wouldn't stop I was campers I just had a freaky thing happen to me um our I don't I don't want to talk about this every single week but I always end up doing it our hello fresh meal just got delivered today and the UPS guy rang the doorbell and normally the doorbell sounds like this right well our doorbell we just got this for christmas it's like a bluetooth one um because it's not wired into the house and uh, that doorbell just started going like beeping uncontrollably like an alarm system and i'm like what the heck is going on and it wouldn't stop i was trying to push every single button on this thing and it just kept going off finally i just had to like it wouldn't turn down nothing i had to cover it Oops. I had to cover up the speaker with the palm of my hand until finally it stopped. I don't know what the issue was. At first I'm like, maybe that means the batteries are dying, but it can't be because like we just installed this. We got it for Christmas and it's the end of February and we didn't <laughs> install it on December 26th. So I was freaking out and it was so loud and Harrison's taking a nap. Ugh. Now I've got a headache. So yeah. Has anything ever happened like that to you? Like an alarm's gone off that you didn't expect to go off? I was just sitting here catching up on Survivor 40, Winners at War, and this literally is right in my ear. I jumped off up off of the couch. At first I thought it was like maybe the smoke detector or the carbon monoxide alarm I have no idea then I'm like in a frenzy because this is still going off I go outside to get the package and this little girl right here sneaks outside because she smells the stray cats that are in the area so she tries to sneak out to get to them so then I'm like I had to throw the doorbell to get the cat in the house, it was just a mess. And that is how my Tuesday is going. Yeah. How no. much do you weigh? No. Oh no. Okay. Do you wanna see? There you are. Yeah. You wanna do your puzzle? Good job. Oh, I'm sorry. I took your screen away. There we go. Look at you. Did you have a good nap? No. Oh, are you going to give her kisses? Are you going to play with her? Oh. Yeah. Look at your hair, bud. He is due for a haircut. Uh, thankfully, we have an appointment this week. And well, get those bangs out of your eyes, huh, bud? He, I think we already said, we think he's coming down with a cold. Well, he, we think he has a cold. Um, he's really been 
I mean, he's been active like normal, but he's also been wanting to take more breaks and watch a little more TV. But there's this Pixar short that he loves to watch. It's called Small Fry. It's about um, a miniature Buzz Lightyear that comes in like a Happy Meal <laughs> or a kid's meal, I guess. And I don't know how it goes. I just know that it's about a miniature Buzz. And he loves it. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I turned the volume down so he probably can't hear it. I'm sorry. I also wanted to update you guys on how I've been feeling um, since we're getting close to the six week mark. What are you doing, bud? Here, here. What? Um, I ha things really haven't changed since the last time I told you how I've been feeling. Um, my morning gags really haven't gotten any worse, but I wanna kinda compare it to how I was feeling with Harrison around this time. Um, when we were six weeks with Harrison, I had just started my like morning shrekking, which I'm not to that point yet. I'm still at the gags. Um, but like after that, I would feel fine all day. Um, I was tired a lot with, with Harrison. With this pregnancy, I like I said, I have the gags. I'm not tired all the time. Sometimes I have a lot of energy. Sometimes I don't. Um, but smells, like strong smells, it doesn't matter if they're good smelling or bad smelling, those also make me gag. And I was never really sensitive to smells with Harrison. I wasn't sensitive to like meat textures or anything like that. And lately with this pregnancy, like, um, the thought of beef in any form really, really sounds gross to me. Um, we did have spaghetti yesterday and like I'm willing to make some tacos, but <laughs> just the thought of it makes me, oof, yuck. Um, and another thing that's different now than it was with Harrison is my back has been more sore. And I don't know if it's just because my body like has already experienced pregnancy, so it's shifting a little bit faster or what, but that is a major difference that I've noticed I've noticed as well. So <clears throat> not shrinking yet, but still have the gags, sensitive to smells, and back soreness. Those are the three main differences. Um I don't really have an appetite like I was the same with Harrison. I'm not really craving much, but when I do get hungry, I like to eat like savory foods like I've mentioned before, like macaroni and cheese and things like that. Um, I still don't crave sweets a whole lot, but I do want them every now and then. Like, I don't know, if I eat an Oreo, it doesn't really taste that great. So, I mean, I should just probably stop eating desserts then. But, um, or like the raspberry coffee cake that I have loved so much in the past. It seems really dry to me now. So, I don't know. My tastes have changed, I guess. I'm sorry that I turned the volume down, son. I'll turn it back up in a second. So, yeah. And I know that pregnancies can be different, even with the same person. But... Um, I didn't really expect it to be that much different. I don't know why. So if you have any experience with that, or if you have a friend who has experience with that, let me know your stories down below. How were your pregnancies or your friend's pregnancies or your sisters or cousins or whoever you're close with, how were they different if they were different or were they the same? Let me know, please and thank you. What are we gonna do? Play puzzle. You wanna play puzzle? Ah! <laughs> oh. Well, Harrison. 
You don't throw toys like that, pal. Okay. What's happening? You don't want anything up on the couch with you? I mean, you just got rid of Rubear without even knowing. Who? <laughs> Why? What? What? Yes. And I really wish I knew what was going on in his little mind. So we're doing some uh, weighing here. It's weighing day at uh, campground. Harrison, who is this? Oh. Good oh. job, Rue. Harrison, where's Primmy? Can you wear that? Well, that bud, nice. that's not very nice. Not very nice. <laughs> yeah, let's not do that again, okay? Well, our guy is a little bit unruly, um, as some of you might have guessed it. Yep, it is the witching hour here again. We keep saying that we're going to not film and we're going to get done before this, and it just it never happens that way. It is well. Thank you. We had swim tonight and everything, yeah. so it was just difficult to get it done before then. Yeah. So whenever we have, when we go to do, do like our makeup swim classes, it's always throws our night off if it's not like on the same night. So with that being said, I want to pop in just a couple little clips. He is definitely making some improvements you know, with his swimming, so check him out. Harrison. That was cute. <laughs> It was so cute to like see him now. I couldn't film a lot because I don't really like to, you know, to film other kids, you know, um, even if I don't get a close up of their face, I really just don't like to do it. Not that we're not allowed. People are there with cameras taking pictures and stuff like that of their kids. So, um, it's obviously not a big deal, but I just don't like to do it. But, uh, he did go underwater twice and he wasn't upset either time. No. It shocked him. It does shock him, yeah. But yeah, he wasn't like, you know, freaking out too badly. What is he doing? I don't know. Anyway, um, I would, since the last time I gave you guys my little COVID-19 update, um, I didn't really get any negative feedback on that. So I want to make sure that you guys do some research and check out some of the new stuff that is, that has been posted, um, for me, I I find all of my stuff. I actually go to Twitter, and I look down at um, 
on the bottom here for my app there's a little magnifying glass and then it brings up like all of my like trending stuff so if you can see that obviously the dem debate is is trending but about four hours ago the cdc um they had a, a big meeting today and they had put up that uh Actually, was their meeting on the 20... Their meeting was the 24th, but they just posted about the meeting today. But it was uh, stating that... I'm going to read it. Um, the American people should prepare for the possibility that their lives may be disrupted because of the coronavirus. Um, this disruption of everyday life may be severe. Um they urge people to prepare as if we're going to see community spread in the near term and one of the other highlights too is it's not so much of a question if this will happen in our country anymore but it's a question of when it will happen so I don't know what that means to you guys what you want to do with that um, again I urge you to do some research on your own I've told you guys before that they have done studies on the virus that can live on a flat surface. It can stay viable for up to five days. Um, uh, the, the cases are spreading. They're spreading in the U.S. I believe there's 57 now. Some of them are in pretty big cities with the possibility to, to you know, spread. Um, what I personally am worried about, because you know, you guys know I'm a little bit into the prepping. Um, I'm personally worried that people here are going to panic shop. So they're going to go to the stores, they're going to wipe everything clean, which is going to cause a panic. So better to be safe than sorry. I mean, Carrie and I, we have food stored up for about three weeks. Um enough for us you know for for our little family to be able to survive on for the kitties uh that might not be enough i don't know you know but we that's what we have so we won't be going out and and doing the panic shop and that's coming straight from the government too they tell you to prepare for any kind of a, a problem like this is to have enough enough food and water for three weeks so, again, not trying to scare anyone. This is just stuff that was on, you know, website or uh, from the CDC. And you can read it anywhere. It's probably on the news outlet. My mom saw it on the news this morning. Um, so, yeah. Uh, again, not super worried here. But things to consider, you know, with what the CDC is saying. It sounds to me. Now, this is just, this is a personal opinion. I told Carrie earlier. From reading it, from seeing what's happened in other countries right now, it sounds to me that the U.S. could take the approach that Italy's taking. Italy doesn't have very many cases, but they're putting people on lockdown. So their idea was, okay, well, if people are coming back from this and if they're all quarantined, then if everybody stays away from other people for a couple weeks, they assume that they're not going to be able to spread it. So, I, I'm not saying that the U.S. said they were going to do that to us, but from what I'm reading, from what I'm seeing is, it could be something that they do to prevent it, because they had said that schools could close, government facilities could close, and things like that, which could also cause people to not, you know, get an income for a while, so... Um, just do the best for your family, whatever you, whatever you deem fit and stay educated because that's really the way to stay on top of anything. Did you see the little gift I left you this morning on the soap? I did. It was really funny. There was a, I don't know where it's at now because I think my mom moved it. I left it there. You did? Mm -hmm. But there was a smaller hat, Woody hat. Yeah. It was in the hallway. And this morning, I woke up and I was sitting on the sofa. Oh, you saw it in the, in the hallway last night? Yeah. Huh? So what I was worried about was when you came out, well, I actually thought it was the cats. I thought the it cats... It was really close to the wall. It was. Time, so. Wow, hi. 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 Is that your nugget? I thought the cats had left a mess, so I wanted to clean it up. And then you picked it up and, and realized... Well, I turned my light on because I was like, well, what do I got to get for this? And it turned out... Hey, bud, careful. 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 
Yeah, you're so cute, but be careful throwing stuff, okay? Yeah. So I just took the little hat and put it on the soap. I, I was just leaving you a little gift. It was really cute. Yeah. I haven't left you any notes on the mirror in the bathroom lately. Thank you, because I don't want to clean them up. Well, and I don't either. I don't want to clean them up either when I get home. I... Is he helping you clean up by throwing everything? No, he's just throwing things. Okay. He loves that picture. Jeez. Harrison, do you know who that is? It's okay. Me. I just have to say, um, because this relates back to something that I said earlier today. <sighs> Tiffany wanted our bedroom to smell nice tonight when she went to bed, so she sprayed oh. a slumber for the yeah. in there. Yeah, it's like a nighttime one. So now our whole house smells like toilet town. <laughs> Why have you associated Febreze with the bathroom? Because that's where most people use it. But my sniffer is very sensitive right now, and strong Careful, smells, any strong smells make me gag. <laughs> Sorry about that. He almost hit himself in the head. Yeah, he scared himself for sure. Yeah. Don't you, oh, do you scare yourself? Yeah. Anyways, I'm very sensitive to strong smells, and make me gag. So I, 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 I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know, and I'm glad you caught me when I was doing it because I almost came out here and sprayed. Spraying the, her side of the bed, and I'm like, what are you doing? Well, because I know you don't like it on your side, but I also have to go back to something you said. Do you really think that people only use Febreze in the bathroom? Yes. Because that's not shitrous to me. Oh. Okay. Some of that... That you use, or... Like, there is Febreze bathroom spray, like a spray that I associate with the bathroom but that nighttime one i definitely don't so i gotta know if the campers if they associate febreze with toilet time wow two different scents too so you were doing like a slumber one i know Shh. i'm trying to talk okay and then you grabbed the lavender one and <laughs> you started spraying that and then you were like oh harrison do you want to help me spray so then you're spraying with harrison and i'm like Please, stop. <laughs> well, anyway, since it is so late, we're going to cut it a little short today. I don't know what Carrie got earlier today, but um, Harrison is just a little bit a little bit uh, unruly today. So we're going to try to do better, but we're really honestly just doing the best we can at this point. So um, I do want to say before we go, thank you so much for all the love on the videos lately. All the comments, like a huge shout out to the mods. I love that they're in there you know, commenting to you guys, and it's always been a big deal to have somebody in there, like, right at 11 a.m. in case there's any, like, pressing questions or something that we missed on the vlog, something that we, you know, um, like, made a mistake on, or I, I don't know, whatever, whatever you guys do, but, um, it's, it's nice that the mods have been in there, uh, like, taking care of stuff, and that all of you guys have, have been in there commenting, and, it's pretty amazing all the stuff that you guys do for our little family and we wouldn't be here without y'all so thanks for making the campground a really cool place um i'm really sensitive today just realizing that i'm sorry anyway anyway guys thank you so much for hanging out with us today thank you for sharing us with your friends and we'll catch you on the flippity he literally said no did you hear that he said no